It was the first described dinosaur, an English predator and not a small one at that. This theropod ushered in the time of the dinosaurs, yet this carnivore wasn't quite the fine English way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus was the first dinosaur ever discovered. The first potential remains of the predator were already depicted in a drawing by Robert Plott in 1677. At that time it was believed that this bone was the testicle of a giant, but much later it was discovered that this bone was in fact the knee section of the femur of a megalosaurus. Unfortunately the fossils were lost. It was not until 1815 that more bones were found in a quarry near Oxford. Since 1818 these were stored in the cellars of the Oxford Museum and it was not until 1824 that megalosaurus was first described by the English scientist William Buckland. He gave the animal the name megalosaurus, meaning great lizard. Megalosaurus bucklandi, named after its name and descriptor William Buckland, lived during the Bethonian stage of the Middle Jurassic in England. This era covers the time period of 168.2 to 165.3 million years ago. Megalosaurus bones were found in the Chipping Norton Formation, Bedfordshire, England. Exhibitions of Megalosaurus can be found in the museums of Oxford, Liverpool and London. A few bones of the skull were found, including maxillaries, jugals, dentals and fragments of some posterior mandibles as well as lower jaw bones. Also found were several isolated teeth, a few vertebrae, some ribs, the elements of the shoulder girdle, several upper and lower leg bones, in the case of the lower leg bones however only tibiae, several upper arm bones, only one single forearm bone, a single finger and phalanx, several sacrum bones and several times all of the pelvic bones as well as several metatarsal bones. That sounds like a lot but it is actually very far from a complete skeleton. Back in the 19th century, one concluded that Megalosaurus was up to 9 meters or 30 feet long, standing on upright legs. He also thought Megalosaurus was a quadruped though. By comparing Megalosaurus with its direct relatives in the Megalosauridae family, modern scientists were able to obtain more accurate size estimates however. The new estimates conclude that Megalosaurus grew up to 6 meters or 20 feet in length and weighed in around 700 kilograms. Anatomically Megalosaurus belongs to the group Megalosaurinae, which in turn is a subgroup of the Megalosauridae, which in turn is a subgroup of the Megalosauroidea. It is interesting to note that the Megalosauroidea group is also called Spinosauroidea. The Megalosauroid group then splits into a few basal Megalosauroids and the two subgroups Spinosauridae and Megalosauridae. For a long time however, the Megalosaurids were a kind of a dustbin group that included all theropods that could not be clearly assigned to other families. With increasing knowledge of theropods, more and more genera were reassigned to other groups and today the Megalosaurids are no longer assigned to the Carnosaurs, but to the formerly mentioned group Spino or Megalosauroids. In general, the Megalosaurus subfamily was a group of middle to large sized theropods that lived during the middle to late Jurassic period approximately 170 to 145 million years ago. Its biggest member, the Torvosaurus, reached massive sizes, up to 11 meters or 36 feet in length and weighing over 4 tons. Megalosaurids were characterized by lower and longer skulls than later theropods and also possessed strong jaws with large sharp teeth. Their arms were relatively short yet muscular with likely three claws on each hand. Megalosaurus itself was home to the United Kingdom. As mentioned earlier, we don't know much about Megalosaurus despite the fact it's the first dinosaur to be found. However, we can take a look at the habitat of the Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus lived in England in the Bethonian stage. England was part of Laurasia, one of the two major landmasses after Pangaea began to break apart in the Triassic. Megalosaurus environment seems to have been lush and tropical, dominated by ferns and ginkgos. This environment was very coastal and some Megalosaurus could have lived on islands as well. At the time of the Megalosaurus, Stegosaurus, such as the Lexovisaurus, called England their home. However, the largest animals in England at this time were sauropods, such as Cediosaurus and Cardiodon, and possibly Cediosauriscus. Megalosaurus would probably have stood little chance against them due to sheer mass. 
I think that Megalosaurus was generally more likely than Stegosaurus, such as Lexovisaurus, instead of sauropods. And it would have to be the juveniles of that, especially for the sauropods. But why do we know that hunting was hard for the Megalosaurus? Well, there have been findings of fractured Megalosaurus bones. Scientists think these traces were left by the herbivores of the same environment. On the other hand, theropods alongside the Megalosaurus include Craxiterus, Iliosuchus and Streptospondylus. Furthermore, the pterosaur Ramphocephalus and an indeterminate sauropod and onithopod remains have also been found alongside fossils of Megalosaurus. Even if Megalosaurus was only a mid-sized theropod, it would still stand on the top of the food chain in its environment, being about similar size to Streptospondylus and only potentially dwarfed by the Craxicerus. However, theropods like these normally all occupy different niches so they can sustain themselves and minimize conflicts. Another question remains, why did the Megalosaurus die out? Well, frankly speaking, to this day it is still unknown to science. However, what we do know is that Megalosaurus was the beginning of a great story that continues to this day, as he started the age of the research of the dinosaurs. That's it for the profile of the Megalosaurus. I hope you enjoyed it. For more dinosaur profiles you can check out the dinosaur profiles playlist and subscribe to the channel for more dinosaurs and prehistory videos. You can also kindly activate the bell so you don't miss anything. I would also be delighted if you share the video around. But enough from me, have a nice day and hopefully see you soon. Megaraptor out.